Hello there. Will we be seeing a double resignation by Starmer and Rayner over Beergate? Both Keir Starmer and Angela Rayner have pledged this afternoon to resign should they get fined over Beergate. But it might be a bit late to try and play the principled ones. Especially after all their claims that they did nothing wrong. And if they think this will put pressure on Boris Johnson and Rishi Sunak to resign, then I think they'll be in for a big disappointment. Especially as it's Keir Starmer's relentless partygate campaign against Boris that got the two Labour leaders into a corner of their own painting. As well as leading the party of lockdown zealotry, or more accurately, the party who wanted to zealously impose more and more restrictions on the people of the UK. Not necessarily them though. So it does appear to be a high stakes gamble for them. Now, in a press conference, Keir Starmer said, I'm absolutely clear that no laws were broken. They were followed at all times. But if the police decide to issue me with a fixed penalty notice, I would, of course, do the right thing and step down. While his deputy leader, Angela Rayner, issued a statement saying, I've always been clear that I was at the event in Durham working in my capacity as deputy leader and that no rules were broken. Eating during a long day's work was not against the rules. We have a prime minister who has been found to have broken the rules, lied about it and then been fined. If I were issued with a fine, I would do the decent thing and step down. Makes you wonder if they think the resignations will either be somehow rejected or they'll easily get back in. Now for my part, I would not want to see Starmer and Rayner go. I hold no brief for either of them and do not support the Labour loonies. But with them both in place, it would make it very difficult to have a replay of the last two years. And further it would make it harder for Parliament to push to hand over all future UK pandemic responses to the World Health Organisation via a worldwide pandemic pact. A pact that is already in the pipeline. Something that could allow all sorts of mandates and impositions to be forced on the UK, whether or not we want them or whether or not we think they're appropriate for us. The last thing we need is to have people in positions of power in the UK who would happily hand our sovereignty away. Again. And handing this sort of power over to the World Health Organisation could, and probably would, result in mandatory and enforced invasive medical procedures and health passes to prove it, with all that flows from that.